My fairy's gonna be bad ass. Oh. And your fairy's gonna be good. Who wants a good fairy? That's true, actually. <laughs> We are doing the fairy original character TikTok challenge today. And we're gonna try to make original characters, original fairies, based on our own traits. Have you ever drawn a fairy before? Oh, she's very experienced I've, with fairies. I mean, I've drawn a handful of fairies in my life, so I'm expecting great things for me. Well, as a first time farrier, I'm really excited to see what fairy? I can do. A farrier is a real thing. Thing though, but what is it? Well, I, we'll put that up above my head. We'll say what it is. Yeah, let's get to it. Let's make a fairy OC based off yourself. If you're born in these months, you're gonna be evil, and if you're born in these months, you're gonna be good. Evil is, I think, me. So May I'm and good. you are August. August. If your eyes are blue, you're gonna give them dragonfly wings. Dragonfly wings for me. That is so cool. If your eyes are green or gray, you're gonna give them bee wings. And bee wings for me. Oh, with that is green actually eyes. really cool bee too. Bee wings. Hmm. Like I feel like you know they're all insect wings. They're not all that different. No, they're not all that different. You're Sorry, right. I'm a first time farrier. If you have any piercings, you're gonna give your character pointy ears. I have piercings, so I do pointy ears. If you have any tattoos, give them antlers. And I have tattoos, so I'm gonna do antlers. And if you have any freckles or moles, you're gonna give them a crown or a hat. And then I have freckles, so I'll do a crown or a hat. Mm -hmm. If you're the youngest child, you're gonna give them a wand. If you're a middle child, you're gonna have a sword. And if you're the oldest, you're gonna have a lantern. You're a middle child. Yeah, if you so, could call third out of nine middle. Sword. Yeah, I think and of myself I, I as an older the, child. I do the lantern. If you have a cat or a dog, you can give them a pet of some sort. And if you have an exotic pet, you can give them a potion. Uh, and then we don't have any pets. We have but a Roomba, which is an exotic pet. I feel like that's an exotic pet. So we can his, give them a pet. His name is Yopi. We greet Yopi more enthusiastically now than we greet each other when we see him running around. You do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Yopi! I get him all riled up. <laughs> as much as you can rile up a Roomba. And lastly, if you're short, give them a mushroom dress. If you're about average height, give them a flower dress. And if you're quite tall, give them a butterfly dress. <laughs> All right, and then in terms of height, you're like average height, you yeah, would say, so yeah. flower. You're kind of tall. And I'm tall-ish, so uh, butterfly. Butterfly dress. Butterfly yep. dress. My fairy's gonna be bad ass. Oh. And your fairy's gonna be good. Who wants a good fairy? That's true, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the most famous fairy of all is known for being very uh, sassy as Tinkerbell, so. Oh, yeah. that's the most famous fairy? I, I went to um, Dorothy. Oh, Glenda the Good Witch? Or She's just... a witch, not a fairy. Oh. Yeah, she came down in a bubble. She did come down <laughs> in a bubble, which means she's a witch. You're gonna look at me and you're gonna tell me that I'm wrong? Am I wrong? My favorite she wore a crown and she came down in a bubble, dog. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Of course. That whole argument. <laughs> All right, let's go make some fairies. Woohoo! Right. But we can go to the east, bro. <laughs> Grow up, bro. Grow up. We are back from creating our gorgeous fairy OC content. Big expectations from you, but I will say that mine went very well. What caused it to go so well? I had a song that I was listening to on repeat. What song? Dun, 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 oh, dun. Don't go wasting. Don't go wasting. Yeah. No emotion. That is a very uh, good Lay song. Your Love On Me? Is that what it's called? Lay All Your Love yeah. That's the name of the song. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's a good one. So that's I was listening to that song a lot with the context of creating an evil fairy. Oh, and just like so that, good. the vibe of that song. Yeah. Oh, it helped so much. Oh my much. gosh. I should have tried that. I'm actually happy with how mine turned out also. Cause yours, I was, yours was inspired by music, right? Mine was on? also inspired by music. Chapel Roan had recently performed at the VMAS Awards. I think that's what they're called. VMAs. Is that what it is? It's called the VMAs. Oh. I was wondering what you were talking about when you were saying VMAs earlier. I thought it was earlier. like always spelled out capital V, capital M, capital A, capital S. <laughs> the VMAs. Oh. What does that stand for? The Video Music Awards, oh. Abby. <laughs> I didn't know the VMAs recently happened. I didn't watch them at all, but I am familiar with the concept of well, the VMAs. Well, her performance was really, really cool. She dressed as a knight in shining not, armor. Not a fairy? No. Okay, well I'm excited to see what you've cooked up. Yeah, yeah, you ready to see? Let's check it out. 
So we haven't seen each other's art literally at all. We've kept it a complete surprise, so I'm very excited to see. Whoa, what? That shield, that armor. Whoa, that is cool. And these giant frogs. So, okay, I haven't seen the VMAs, but are there giant dragonflies and frogs? No. No? It's, that is so cool. It's just Chapel oh my Rome gosh. in a suit of armor. To prepare for this challenge, I actually drew her multiple times. Whoa, whoa, what? Those are awesome, holy yeah. crap. They, she was super fun to draw on This all one is poses. so cool. All these are so cool. It was hard to cool. choose. Oh man, yeah. wow, you did a lot. Jeez, you, you kind of went overtime here. The wings are super cool and graphic. The armor is cool, like the pose, ah. Oh. All of that, like the frog guys. <laughs> Thank you. Instead of giving her a flower dress, I gave her a flower shield. Ah, that's right, her. that's yes. right. You were, you know, a little interpretive with some of the yeah. problems. She's a good fairy with a mm -hmm. crown, with a flower shield, with pointy ears. She's holding a sword. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that was all my criteria. And she's good, yeah. Yeah, she, uh, she is very good. Yes. You did a very good job. Thank you. Thank I, you. I'm so proud of you. I am thrilled. It was actually really, really fun to do. Painting the big frogs was, I left them pretty simple and goofy looking um, on purpose. <laughs> Cause you know, my focal point. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think about focal points more now. It's all about focal yeah, points. Yeah, you can't just put every bit of detail into every bit of the can. I mean, you can. It just wouldn't have a focal point then. It just then. wouldn't have a focal point then. I'm not lazy. I just don't want there to be too many focal points. I want to see yours now. <laughs> First time seeing my evil fairy. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that looks amazing. Thank what? you, yeah. This is so good, <laughs> wow. I really like this one. This is so good. Oh, and I can hear the music playing over it as we look at this. Yeah, so, so I was listening to that song on repeat. Okay, so here was my plan going in. The background was first just using all sorts of random brushes, creating random textures. Mm -hmm. And then for the sketch, I kept it super loose, went super quick. And I was like, I'm gonna do a bunch of these, just like you did with oh, Chapel yeah. Round. Yeah. Except I did the first one and I was like, oh, I really like this first one. So I just took the first one and rolled with That's it. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. This looks amazing. So yeah, I got a butterfly dress, the bumblebee wings, the antlers, oh, yeah. the wand. Uh, yeah. She's evil. Were there other things? Oh, this hand. There's the probably wand other things. Is immaculate. Look at that. Look at that. The way she's holding the wand. So good. Her expression. <laughs> incredible. Her antlers are amazing. Like this all looks so, so good. Thank you, yeah. I, I really tried with this one to kind of make it my own. Yeah, well, you did. It looks incredible. We did it! We did it! We did fairies! We created a fairy OC! Oh wait, oh my gosh. What's your fairy's name? Chapel Flown, I guess. Chapel she, Flown? The fairy had flown Oh home. wow, oh my gosh. Now I'm questioning what my fairy's name is. Let me think. Um. Flume. You sound like a three-year-old girl trying to her name, name is her Flume. fairy. That no, is no, no. Exactly how a child I... names No. Mm, I've thought about it. <laughs> I've thought about it long and hard, no. and her name is Flume. You, you're not allowed to name things anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I am very proud of our progress that we've made I this week. We've job. done some really cool fairies. Mm -hmm. Who knows what's gonna be next? I so know. click yeah. that subscribe button if you wanna find out what we're gonna be working on next week. And sign up for Brush Club at the link below where you can get new brush packs shipped to your inbox every month. They are vastly inspirational and will definitely inspire you to be creating new artworks. And this is the part where we say Goodbye. Goomba. Abby, if you were a fairy, would you be a good or an evil fairy? That brings us into a wonderful segue into a full philosophical discussion of the concept of good and the concept of evil. I would like to hear your- I would be an evil fairy, yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Mm-hmm. 